Some people say that this is the New York of Eastern Europe. I say it's much more. Welcome to Warsaw, Poland. So we have rented this very cool place in the old town of Warsaw. It's very old style like, but it's amazing. We have a little kitchenette area, we have a sofa, we have a huge bed and everything is like this kind of like oldish decor. And the thing that I like most couple of cute windows if you want to rent this place because I already know it's gonna be very very comfortable to be in Warsaw because it's in the old town very near to all of the sites bathroom is here by the way I will uh, link it in the description so you can book it as well but now let's go out and explore We need to go and eat because we are starving already and we're going to some place here in the old town, a Mlechni bar. This is like a traditional restaurant in Poland. We are having tomato soup and pierogi. Tomato soup, awesome. Pierogi, we're gonna give it a try. Martin has with meat. Opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Still, I don't know. Okay. okay, let's give it a taste. First time ever pierogi, cheese, and I think this is uh, whipped cream. It's strange. Hmm. The food part is done. Pretty nice tomato soup, pierogi. Hmm. I still have to give them another chance. But now, let's go and explore the old town of Barso. I don't like this bear. Every time that I try to go and take a selfie with him, he turned his back on me. And right in front of the castle, we have this small representation of the old town so this here is the wall surrounding it this is the castle we are here we have the church we have the central market square so as we're walking around the wall of the old city of Varso let me tell you something interesting this is not actually the old wall and all of the buildings inside of the old city are not actually the old buildings that once were interesting fact Warsaw was bombed so many times it was ruined to ground zero a few times basically none of the buildings survived so they had to rebuild them all over again and of course they did it in the same style as they were originally but everything here is kind of actually the old new city <laughs> you see all sorts of weird things in Warsaw <laughs> oh my god sorry photo photo is it yours I don't know Okay. <laughs> so we have come to the viewing point at the old city. It's right next to the palace. And it has a 360 view of the old city, of the new city, and of the river. And it's very pretty, so I do recommend that you come and check it out. It's 10 zloty per person. 
and it's super cool at sunset. Today we don't have much of a sunset because of the clouds, but still very pretty, so worth it. But there are strange bugs flying around. So after this nice short walk in the park with the short. fountain Yes, it was short It wasn't It was short, it no. was like 3 minutes <laughs> No yeah. But we were in a hurry because there were clouds of mosquitoes I don't know if they don't spray anything here in Warsaw in the park But there are tons of mosquitoes and bugs So we were like hurrying to get out of the clouds <laughs> Now this is what I call a proper Polish dinner <laughs> Okay, we're gonna give a tasting of this very good looking food, but first Polish house wine Now, let's try the soup I think, I think it's raw soup How is the sausage? Is it like different from our sausages? Kind of same? Okay, try mine. Just a little bit first. Watch out. It's hot. It's nice. It's um, cabbage. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want it. It's nice. Um, it's good. Good morning from Old Town, Varsov. We're having breakfast. We're a little bit behind schedule with two hours because we slept in. But we're going to eat. We're at this cafe. I don't know how it's called. I'm gonna write it somewhere for you, but it looks very nice. We're going to eat, drink coffee, fast, and then go and head into Varsov to do some sightseeing. So the plan for today was to visit Zamek Krolevski, which is the royal castle. Interesting fact, the Constitution of Poland was signed here on the 3rd of May. Guess what day is it today? It's the 3rd of May. I don't think we're gonna be able to go in the castle. <laughs> Another fun fact, Poland is the first country in Europe to have a constitution and the second in the world. We went around the castle, we found a few policemen, we asked him if the castle and the museum of the castle was working. He said entrance after 2 p.m. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna come back and see if we can get in. But until then, we're going now to the botanical garden of the university, the library, because it's a famous spot here in Warsaw. University, library, the botanical garden on top is very cool to come to take a walk, to take pictures and you also have like great views over the skyline of Warsaw on one side and then of the Vistula river on the other side it's pretty popular though, a lot of people come here with their children to take walks uh, but yeah, you should come After so much walking, we deserve a little treat for ourselves. A little? That's not little. <laughs> this is the big one. Don't lie. Okay. Trying the pekanka for the first time, Polish street food. Mm. It's nice. So it's bread with melted cheese, mushrooms, ketchup. It's nice on the go because 
we are in a hurry. We have to we have to make it in time for the museum. This is a line to go into the royal palace. I don't think we're gonna make it. Nope. We have other plans to go into another museum, which is way more interesting in my opinion. So I guess another time. to the Praga district in Warsaw, which is on the other side of the river. Years ago, before there was any, even a bridge, this was like another town. So it was kind of thought until recently as a sketchy place to go in Warsaw, but it's safe. We did saw a few drunk people, but <laughs> it's okay. And now the point of us coming here is to come and check out the vodka museum. Let's go. <laughs> and what are your thoughts about the aroma in the second glass of vodka? Is it more intensive or...? Pretty much the same. <laughs> After the second one, it's all the same. Let's taste it. And that was how you feel, fry or potato? Potato. potato. Yes, it is. That was potato vodka, mm -hmm. luxus opa. It is production since 1928. It is our main Polish potato vodka. Luxus opa. In English, it means luxury vodka. <laughs> it's strange okay. to okay. smell so vodka and not wine. Okay, so what's that? This one has legs. <laughs> so after the degustation, we already have a certificate that we're official vodka connoisseurs. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Having dinner at the Old Town Square here in a restaurant, so we ordered something which was recommended to try in Poland: borscht with beetroot, beetroot soup. I'm gonna try it for the first time ever in my life. And then we have the dumplings again, pierogi. This is with cheese and potatoes. Martin has like this huge portion of uh, schnitzel, potatoes. Very good. And now for digestion and for dessert, a shot of Vishnovka. Very nice. 
Good morning from Borso. We just had breakfast at this cute little place in the old town. It was very nice, very tasty. By the way, there are not a lot of breakfast places that open early in the morning here. There are like three or four. So this one, if you're here, you can check it out. It's pretty nice. Today, we have again a full program. We're going to catch the bus and go to the Pauline Museum. because we're at like 60% of the museum. This is probably the coolest, most interactive museum I've ever been to. It's awesome, I do recommend you to come and see this is a must if you're in Warsaw. Uh, ticket entrance was free today because it was Thursday, so we have free entrance on Thursdays. And you can get an audio guide, which I do recommend because you learn a lot. The museum is very well organized. We have a few places where you can take a stop, exit, go to the toilet and then come back. This is the best museum I've been to. I've been to a lot. We made it out of the museum. We spent, I don't know, maybe two hours or more maybe inside, three. maybe three. I have no idea. We lost track of time. The best museum that I've been to, uh, most interactive, and it was also voted the best museum in the world for 2016. Let's go and eat. <laughs> so taking the time while we're sitting down in this Mexican place to comment on something which I've noticed here in Poland. Of course, you cannot smoke inside of the venues. You cannot smoke electronic cigarettes as well, but you cannot also smoke on the outside sitting part. Everywhere you have signs, so for the smokers, beware, you cannot smoke here. Even on the bus stops, there are signs that you cannot smoke. For good or for bad, that's the situation. But now, we're enjoying some very nice Mexican food. We're not in New York. We're in downtown Warsaw. This is the new part of the city with all of the skyscrapers, with all of the offices, and it's a very cool place to come and walk around. the Palace of Culture and Science here in Warsaw, probably the most popular iconic building in Poland. Fun fact, it was built in the 1950s during the communist occupation here in Warsaw and it was left as an unwanted gift to the Polish uh, population. A lot of Polish people here don't actually like this building because it reminds them of harsh history and a lot of people have voted to remove it but it's still here because it is part of history, it is an iconic piece of architecture, it's the symbol of Warsaw. that tower there with that terrace we were supposed to watch Warsaw from above from the Warsaw Tower it's closed it's closed 
closed. Nighttime Warsaw is a disappointment. We didn't get to see the view and the palace is not even lit up. So in Alto Verso, there's like a waffle shop every 10 meters. It's pretty popular here. We want to try it, but they're closed now. So as a saying goodbye, last night in Verso, we're taking away some ice cream. And we're continuing on our road trip in Poland. Good morning from Old Town Warsaw again. It's actually time to say goodbye to this beautiful city. I have enjoyed my time here so much, unexpectedly, I really like this one. I just, I don't know why, but it feels very cozy, it feels very nice, like a good city to live in. And it's also pretty interesting for tourists to see the things around. So I'm gonna leave you with this and I'll see you in the next one.